So I wanted to do a quick video on how to install uh, Windows 11 on Windows Hyper-V. So this is Windows 11 installed as a virtual machine on another Windows machine running Windows Hyper-V. Um, so there's a couple of things you're going to need for this. So um, you're going to need Hyper-V enabled on your Windows machine and you're also going to need a Windows 11 um, download for the installation. Uh, so if you haven't installed or set up Hyper-V on your Windows machine, hit the Windows key and the Q key to search and type uh, Windows features. And you'll get an option saying turn Windows features on or off, which looks like this. And then in here, there is an option for Hyper-V and you just want to make sure that that's selected. OK, and that will install the Hyper-V platform and also the management tools for it. So just make sure that that's ticked. And when you do OK on that, then that will install Hyper-V. With that installed, you'll then get a window like this available to you. So again, you can do Windows um, key and Q and type Hyper-V and then that will bring you up this window. This shows you where all your virtual machines are, your Hyper-V virtual machines um, are running, uh, which ones you've got running at the moment. So, But what we're going to do is create a new one. So we want a new virtual machine, which gives us this window. So we can next through that, um, we'll give our um, virtual machine a name. We will make it a Generation 2 because that has better features than Generation 1. Um, we'll give it um, 4096 megabytes, so 4 gigabytes. We will connect a switch to it. We will allocate a hard disk um, in... some folder somewhere and give it a fairly large hard disk because Windows 11 needs a fairly large hard disk and we will install from a bootable the bootable ISO that you've downloaded and with that done um, that should be that and that will configure that up and then we can go and uh, connect to that and then we can hit start and this is where the fun starts so the first thing you're going to run into is it says this and so you start hitting some keys on your keyboard and you sit and wait and sit and wait and sit and wait Eventually, after some time, you will see this great screen, which tells you that it didn't work, obviously. So that's a massive fail. Um, and it doesn't really give you much information about why it failed, other than the boot image wasn't found. So um, we'll stop the virtual machine. Turn that off. Now, the key to this is hold down the space bar. So click in the window, press the space bar and keep holding it, then hit the start button. And when you do that, you'll see that it actually starts the Hyper-V. You have to be holding a key down when you actually start the virtual machine, otherwise you'll get the other screen. Um, so that's got us past the first hurdle. So we'll go and start installing. And We'll see where we get to now. So we'll pick a pick a version and start installing and oh dear um, problem number two. So problem number two says go to this particular website which tells you all of the 
features that your machine needs to have in order to run Windows 11. So let's just do a double check. So we've got a processor. Yes, we did that. We gave it four gigabytes of RAM. Yes, we did that. We gave it 127 gigabytes of, of disk space. So yes, we've got more than 64. Uh, we're doing a UFE secure boot. Yes. Hmm. TPM. Okay. We didn't do anything about TPM. So um, graphics card should be okay. Display. Yeah. So let's stop this and go and have a look at the settings of the virtual machine. So over here and settings and well so we've we've only got one virtual processor so let's let's perhaps put two in um as we said our, our hard drive is okay um so down in security we've got secure boot enabled but enable tpm trusted platform module so check that and hit apply and then OK. And let's go back over here. Remember holding the space bar, start, hold that down until you see Hyper V. And there, now you can let the space bar go. And let's see if that gets us past that warning. And that is it. That will now go away and install Windows 11 and we'll have a nice new Windows 11 virtual machine on Hyper-V. Thanks for watching.